Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty uh, with your host Claudia Lada. Thank you very much for being here. So today we're going to do the new Chantecai Giraffe collection. So I just got this. It was outside my door. Of course, I pulled it out. It came in this beautiful box and I was going to do it unboxing here with you. However, I didn't want to make the mistake of other times that I take too long to do the swatches. So I already did the swatches. <laughs> but I'm very excited about this uh, collection. Uh, I love giraffes and I think this is beautiful. I mean, the detail that they do, even the box, is just so beautiful with the whites and grays. I say bravo to Chantekai. And I ordered the lips, which has this little lilac. To it look how beautiful so what came in the box was a little bit of explanation uh, giving giraffes a voice so part of the um, profits of these cells goes to help the giraffes so it gives a little explanation of uh, the population of giraffes and uh, how they've been in silent extinction so the idea of buying this product, helping those animals is always a beautiful thing. Of course, we could always do more, <laughs> but it feels good to know that at least we're part of it and that the company has been part of it. It's part of their interest, right? So I thought this was gorgeous. Let me show you now the actual palette. Um, and it's very lovely that Chantikai came with this quad uh, that is kind of in the neutrals, right? So here is Giraffe Eye Quarter. It came with this little cheat. Look how beautiful this is. When I saw this, oh, <laughs> all you can see is my my ring, <laughs> my ring light. Um, so when I saw this, I just loved it. I thought neutrals with, of course, this uh, kind of writing up. This one reminds me a lot of the one that, Ch that Chanel came with. Uh, what was it? Last collection, uh, maybe spring of 2021, perhaps. So this one has been a popular kind of shade. And of course, this one too, which is a little rose bronze. But let me show you the swatches. Um, haha, because I already did them. So look how beautiful and neutral. It also reminds me of the Glam palette from Natasha Denona or the uh, actually her whole palette, which is, well, is, is it the, not the Glam palette? That one is the Glam face. Well, she has another one that is very neutral, but in any case, but this is right up my alley. This is uh, so good for my coloring. So love it, love it, love it. Um, and so we're going to try them out. And I'm going to tell you what I have on my face. Um, very natural, very easy. So of course the Charlotte Tilbury corrector that I use a little bit instead of a, a concealer. And all I did was actually Chantakai blurring powder. Uh, this is light medium. This came in this case, which is a flower sort of thing, but a perfect blur finishing powder. I think they have it now in their permanent collection and not in this case, but it's the same powder in my understanding. So all I did was buff it all up with the Sonia G because I didn't put any foundation. Why not? Because I wanted to do a very basic sort of look and I actually wanted to try the powder by itself. I didn't want to try it. I always have tried it on top of some kind of foundation. So I was very curious how it would perform on my skin and if it would, uh, if it will dry or look dry, but no, it looks very beautiful and natural. So bravo, uh, very, very nice. Um, you'll be the judge, of course. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted a little more coverage, you can use a little concealer or one of those uh, very light kind of touches. I guess I could pull out my Western Atelier stick and just put some patches here and there, but uh, this is all I wearing. And then I put a little bit of Victoria Beckham lip liner number three and her lip um what's the call and the reason i did that was because before i started this video and i'm sorry i'm not looking to you but of course it disappeared on me and i just wore it this always happens to me there'll be the day oh here it is <laughs> the color uh spark so the reason i apply this is because i was gonna film something properly 
for the olive green eyeliner that I just received because if you remember, if you've seen, I did a video very quick that day, kind of spontaneous. So I wanted to do a proper video today. However, the Chantecai package arrived and I said, oh, no, 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 I have to jump on that. But I was wearing already the lips and the lip liner. That's where we are. Um, then I'm gonna apply a little tiny bit just because I know or you know that I don't like to be totally bare skin or bare with nothing pale. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Bliss, the Butterfly, um, and just a tiny bit. And I am wearing, and that one is from, is old because I was wearing with that during the day. Because I told you before that sometimes I don't do anything, but at least I put a little bit of, um, of brown here to conceal or to narrow my face or to, and so in this occasion, I use the uh, Charlotte Tilbury, which you know has been mentioned before, one of my favorites. Because I'm using powder, the blurring powder, and that creams, I go for powder. You know how I usually go for the Tom Ford Illuminating or the West Metillier Stick, which are cream? Uh, it used to be before those two came to my life that I used powder, and so I really like this. Uh, so I put a little bit of this earlier and then a little bit of the illuminating. So there you have it. So I, as you can tell, the bliss, the butterfly barely shows on me. It reminds me of the new, these are Chantecai, except this, um, of the new blushes that have been coming out, you know, like the Chanel La Comet that is peachy, but barely there. You can't see it on my skin. And then there is the new Dior Dante blush, which I'm very tempted to get because that one is also like this, but in the pinky. And I believe that it might show a little more than this. That's why I've been in the fence because if it's just like this, it won't work. The same as the Tom Four, uh, I think uh, the lightest color, they say is very much like this. And you know, that doesn't show, right? Nothing. So that's why uh, I've been on the fence with that other one. All right, concentrate on Chantecai. Well, I'm telling you what I'm wearing on or what I'm putting on my face, right? So the other one that I do use a little bit more because it's too light for me, is I'm gonna put a little bit of the coral. This is also Chantecai. This is a refillable for this. I haven't bought the case. At the time they were out of stock when I ordered this of the, this on the case. So I ordered these uh, refillable, This comes in a box, and I had just keep it like this. So. I'm gonna apply a little bit. I think I told you this before, so. And why do I pick the smallest mirror? <laughs> the smallest mirror to see myself in. Ay Dios mio. Oh, look, see, that's, that starts looking a little more beautiful in my opinion, a little color. So the this whole style, it looks great on pictures. This whole, you know, very nude and blurred and all this and just a strong eyeliner and some lips. It looks beautiful for pictures when you wanna be not moving, you know, like mm, with the lighting and all of this. But in real life, at least at my age, you need a little bit more color, right girls? I mean, I don't know about you, but I have a feeling you agree because you've been requesting like the, the pinkish blush and things like that. So that means uh, you agree that you want a little bit more color. <laughs> All right, so that's as much as I'm gonna do. This is a very simple sort of look. So let's see, let's play. Hmm, let me look at the swatches. What should we do here? All right, so obviously, which one will go in the crease? Of course, that this one. I'm gonna do that just to see how the color payoff and how it applies. And I'm not getting my usual thin you know, I, I usually go more for this. You see how it's smaller because of my hooded eyes. I'm looking for the West Ma for the Wayne Goss. You know, like more like this. But these ones are I used them yesterday. I haven't washed them, so they're a little. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Sonia G, and this is Sonia G uh, Crease Pro. It's for the crease, but. I find that it's usually too thick for my kind of crease. 
but I'm doing it very lightly. And I, I know Chantikai formula. Uh, they're nice, right? It's not just any formula. And so they're probably easy to blend and easy to put it in place. Like I'm having absolutely no trouble. And so far, look how beautiful. You know when you're always looking for just a nude very quick, just to accentuate your crease? Uh, this, for all of you out there, remember, I don't know if you saw a video where I was saying that, that what was the nude that you have, that everybody talks like everybody has a nude, and I'm like, I don't have that many nudes per se. Well, this one will qualify. This one will be one of those that you can pull always to start with your crease. So I'm loving it already. And because this is gonna be a very simple look, um, let's put something obviously in the inner corner. You know, we always talk about inner corner and we're gonna go with this one. I'm gonna put a little bit of light. Oh. So this one is sparkling, guys. Very, very, very sparkling. So if you don't like sparkles, if you don't like uh, the big chunks, I mean, that sounds horrible, but it is. It is almost like yesterday I tried the Bringen Tone Pat McGrath and it is almost like that. So it is, it's just the color payout on this is much more concise. The other one had like more sparkles spread out. So I think it created a little bit more of a mess uh, because I don't see a lot of fallout, but it is sparkles. You can see a little bit there. I know, I know you can see it. I know you can see it because the light is catching it. Of course, can you see that? All right, well, we're not going to be very meticulous. Not a lot, not a lot of fellow, but, you know, you have to be careful with that shade. But, you know, it's a sparkle. So the next thing I will do is I'm going to apply a little bit of uh, the darker brown. And now I will take this. So I'm going to take now this one. And I'm gonna apply it on the outer corner just because I wanna see how it performs. And uh, I think it performs beautiful. Look at that. And it is dark enough. Oh, I love it. And you know, I wanted to use a dark, dark, um, eyeliner which we'll get into that in a minute but you could use this one too and just leave it at that look how beautiful you see the difference when you don't you haven't put your mark on so i am going to equalize this eye and now we're going to the next step All right, so the next step, I'm gonna apply this beautiful My Be Lilac color. Let's see if it's as sparkly as the white. I hope not. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Now this one doesn't feel the big sparkles, the big chunks, uh, but it is very, very illuminating, shiny, or what do you call it, dual, or look at that. So if you just wanted a day, I will leave it like this. Actually, let me just try something. What happens if I use the brown? I'm gonna put the brown all over my lid. I just wanna see if the, the color changes a little bit or not. And I'm actually applying it on top of the white to minimize the sparkles. And I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the dark over here to emphasize my crease. You see, this is, it stays very neutral, very matte, very simple. And then of course here you ramp it up. So what I'm gonna do now, I have here two um, 
eyeliners and I wanted to swatch them with you because these have been my last acquisitions and I've been wanting to to see the difference. So that is the Natasha Denona and this is the Cocoa, which is one of you two favorites on Victoria Beckham. Okay, so which one will go best? Well, if you wanted a more um, accentuated, it will be this one. And if you want, look, it matches this one, right? If you want a more monochrome or more in the natural sort of feel. So I would use the darker one on this to emphasize, and I would use probably the natural on that, but I do not want to end up with two eye. But you see where I'm going? They can be very different. Um, maybe I can put it on top. So I'm going to start with the Natasha Denona. I'm going to apply it on this eye, which is a very close match to that darker shade. Okay. So I'm coming back just to show you what I did was to put the Natasha Denona eyeliner and now I'm taking the dark brown with this brush and I am putting kind of on top of it uh, just to magnify and sort of So look how beautiful that looks. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of this up here. And I'm gonna use a little bit of, I'm gonna take a little bit of this sparkle, but I'm gonna just put a little bit in the center and a little bit here. Look how beautiful. And on this side, I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham Coco, which is darker. Of course, I'm doing what I said I wasn't going to do, two eyes. But we'll see how I equalize them both at the end. I wanted to show you the two totally different looks. So let me apply this and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So what do you think? I finished the two eye looks. So this one, I didn't put much sparkles, only in the inner eye. I used Natasha Denona, which was a more brown, lighter sort of color that matched more this. And I elongated a little bit that line. And on this side, I applied the sparklies. I applied the white in the inner and the other color, which is this one in there and then of course I apply the Victoria Beckham Coco which is a darker brown. So there you have it. So obviously this you can amp up a little bit especially if you use a, a darker blush and a bolder lip. I mean you can definitely use it for night. This is a very basic everyday and you can still ramp it up. I could put the white all over my lid instead of the other color. Um, or nowadays I've seen put a little bit of the sparkle just right here and right here, which is another look. Probably not my look, but you know, there's different things you can do. So you tell me which eye do you like better? And now we are going to try the lip. Now, this is very interesting. There were only three shades. So I got the most rose neutral, which is called uh, Freesia. They have another one that is even lighter and a little bit peachy, but it's so light, almost like a lip tint. And I mean, not a, 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 not a lip tint, but one of those, yeah, lip tint. Very uh, moisturizing ones. And then the other one was more pink cool. Now I wanted the pink cool, but they were out of stock. So I got this one, which I think is a stronger color. So that could be a very good thing for me because they're too light. So actually, most likely I would use this with, a, with an eyeliner. I mean, with a lip liner. So, but because I am trying to hear with you, I thought I would try it without, so you see the actual color. And then I will put a, um, a lip liner after. So let's apply it together. My bare lips. 
very creamy. You can see the difference between the lower lip and the low. So there's some color. I'm actually liking it quite a bit. Very neutral, very rosy, but um, enough color for sure. For you girls that been asking me about a pinky, your lips but better, but in a pinky sort of creamy way, this is very lovely. Look at that. This feels like a dream, it's balmy. It's creamy, it gives that warmth that I've said about West Mediterranean gloss. Uh, this is not a gloss. So I've been trying a lot of bombs. I actually made a video uh, on different bombs. You can check it down below. Very different than the new Chanel um, La Comet collection, which are supposed to be more balmy, but those are like more oily. And uh, no, this one is, is not waxy, because waxy, I mean, when it stays in place, it does stay in place. You don't feel like it's kind of moist. No, it's very nice and creamy. And look at the color. I'm glad I got this one, actually. Very, very happy with it. So there it is on this side of the face and then on this side. And what I was going to try to do, now I'm debating, because you can play a lot with this. And I don't have here which... Uh, lip liner I would use but I could use a little more pinky one and it will create this a little more rosier or I can use a little more peachy and it will give that kind of look so I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham number three uh, because I think it's as neutral a little stronger color it's not rosier Look at that. You can see the difference because I haven't melted. So it's still neutral and rosy and it goes. Oh my God, I love this collection. Seriously guys, I mean guys and girls, if you want a neutral to go sort of palette, I really like it. And the lips, very neutral, very balmy, very pinkish, love it. So there you have it, one side and the other. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Please ring the bell in the right hand corner. Uh, please comment down below, thumbs up, you know, all of those things. Um, and let me know what you think. You're gonna get it, you're not gonna get it. What do you think? Do you like the look? Um, do you like all the sparkles? Will you use it just in the natural way? Um, so thank you very much for being here and I will see you next time. Oh, do you like the Natasha Denona or do you like the 